Hello my friends and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Chris, aka the IT guy. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to install and configure Flutter on Windows 10. This is going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial on how I show you how to install this Flutter and I will show you the further configuration that are um, needed for this Flutter to be uh, running smoothly. Without further ado, let's, let's go ahead and see how we can do this one. First of all, I'm going to go ahead and open my favorite browser and discuss I'm using Chrome. And once you are on Chrome, you can go ahead and type, for example, Flutter.dev uh, to go on the Flutter website and press enter. And once you reach on the Flutter website, there will be a lot of buttons here. And I'm going to go ahead and press on Get Started. And once I click on there, I will see there will be a lot of options for the installation. It will be uh, compatible with some platforms like Windows, Mac OS, Linux, and Chrome OS. And you quickly notice if you are in China, uh, where the Google servers are now banned or they are not working there, you can select um, on this link so as to be able to uh, to get it from other mirrors. Uh, but in this case, I'm not in China, which means that I'm now able to do this. And I'm going to go ahead and select Windows. And once I set, once I select Windows, there will be some system requirements that we need to take a closer look to. The first of all, we have to be having a Windows 7 SP1 or Rata, which is now the 64-bit uh, or uh, two bits and you know you have to have also the 1.64 gigabytes that is in free space on your hard disk and you have also to inst to have these tools so as to be able to to use this one for example we have to have the windows power share and the git for windows and you can go ahead and uh, obtain this from these links so as to be able to go in this case i don't have my git uh, my computer uh, my git in my computer so i'm going to go ahead and follow this link to download the git i'm going to download it very quick and uh, we really have to install it so and i'm going to go ahead and uh, download this git here now and I will have to make the installation. The installation is very easy and straightforward and to you know, not take a long to complete. And once we are done installing the Git, we will come back and uh, obtain these um, Frata SDK tools. And the speed of the download will depend upon your internet. And as I'm talking, I'm waiting for this Git to be done. So let me speed up for a bit. All right, cool. Once this is done, go ahead and press open to open this setup. And once it is now opened, let me wait for a couple of seconds for this to be opened. Let me minimize my Chrome for a bit so as to have a clean workspace to show you how uh, this is done, guys. And now the instruction is starting. I'm going to go ahead and press next. And I like to leave the defaults for not making this uh, video so long. I'm going to go ahead and press next. Uh, next, 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 so as to be able to install this one. And once it is now done, I will be having this installation. Uh, all right, cool. Once this is done, I'm going to go ahead and uncheck this one and click on finish. And we're going to come back to our browser so as to get this now also the uh, Frata SDK. I'm going to go ahead and try to download this one. I'm going to click on here so as to be able to download this one. And as you can see now, it is 878 megabytes file. I'm going to go ahead and start download and we wait for the download to be done and we'll continue with further steps. So once I click on start download, it will take like 15 minutes for my speed of my computer and internet. And if you are having less or more, you have to wait for this to be done and we will continue once this is done. All right, once this is done, I'm going to go ahead and press open. And in this case, as it is a zip file, it will be opened in your default zip file, zip or archive manager. And I'm going to open and there will be some folders in here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go on my local disk C. And as the instruction here implies, that it is not good to to, to put it on the program files as it require ele elevated privileges and I'm not going to go on there but I'm going to create a source for a folder on local disk C so I'm going to go ahead and play, click uh, create a new folder that is called SRC or source and inside this folder I'm going to go ahead and do drag and drop this flutter folder in here as it is I'm going to drag it here to extract uh, exactly in this folder and when I'm done I'm going to 
uh, wait for a bit for this to be done and to not take a long as it is not that heavy so we have to wait for a couple of seconds all right and once this is now successfully copied in our ASRC or source folder you can go ahead and navigate and you see there will be a lot of files contained in here and the next step that we are going to take is now to allocate this uh, folder where the flutter is allocated on our environment variables to do that I'm going to go ahead and uh, as I'm in this folder I'm going to go in the flutter folder and I will go on the bin and on the top right here I'm going to go ahead and click right click on here and go to copy address and I will have to open my my explorer again. And as I'm on this on this location where the disks are located, I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and place properties. And once you go on the properties, we see where it is written advanced system settings. I'm going to go ahead and click on there. And to bring a window like this one, but I will uh, focus on environment variables. And you can see there will be a lot of things here, that, but what we are going to go ahead and uh, access, it is now this path on here. And what we're going to do is to go ahead and place on edit. And once you press on edit, you can go ahead and place on new. And you can go ahead and paste the link that you copied for the C, uh, SRC Frata bin. Go ahead and press OK and OK and OK again. And you have to close this. And the next uh, thing that you need to do is now to open this PowerShell as it was uh, asking us. In this case, I'm going to browse for my PowerShell and I'm going to learn it as administrator so as to have the full privileges. And I'm going to minimize all of these. Wow, clone stuff. So as to have a clean workspace, let me minimize all the windows I have here. And then let me close this one, it is now no longer needed. And let's wait for this PowerShell to launch. All right, and once you are here, you can go ahead and type Frata like this one and wait for a bit. And let's wait if, uh, to see if it will execute this Frata command. All right, and you can see now uh, Frata is now welcoming us. We come to Frata, and you can see now we are successfully installed our Frata on our Windows 10. And to to check if there is no other dependencies that are now um, missing, you can learn another command that is called Frata Doctor to see the issues that we can be having on our system. And to do that, we can go ahead and type Frata like this one, Doctor and press enter and we start to execute and it will see all the weaknesses that we may be having on our system and all the other dependencies that we need to install and we have to wait for this to be done too it doesn't take a long so we have to give it a shot and uh, wait for it to be executing all the required configurations so let's wait for it all right and you can see that there were, there are all, uh, two issues found you can see that there will be uh, issues in two categories the first one will be from android to chain and it is not able to locate android sdk and the second one will be uh, from android studio not installed and in this case we're going to try to install the android studio and we will see if those issues will be resolved